Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play The Evil Within. The execution for the PS4. And let's do some shopping. Alright, so we've got 123 coins. Um, I guess we'll upgrade our health. Yes, we got our defense and health upgraded. Need to improve our mobility and our hammer, which we will eventually do. Um, we'll buy dynamite. We could buy two. Well, I'll buy a Molotov instead, so yeah. Is there anything else I can upgrade except buying new items? No. So I think that's going to be kind of it. Look, we even upgraded some health. Even better. So yeah. There will be a part where I transition because I'll be grinding. Because I know I want to get all of the um, upgrades. So yeah, I'll probably do most of the grinding off screen. Is there anything here? Aha, scanning. All right. Daughter's Diary 12. The shaking won't stop. I can't remember Dad's face. I'm slowly forgetting who I am. There are all these monsters around. Like, I don't even care if they get me anymore. But I at least want to see Dad one more time. Okay. I don't think you will be able to see your dad. How many more of these notes do I need, actually? Two more. Then I think um, it's a trophy. Then, yeah, we need a lot of these, actually. Oh, you get torment achievements. Do we um, do we get trophies for all of that? I think you get trophies for getting all the daughter's diaries and whatnot from looking at um from looking at the trophies. Trophies are mandatory to me. Beating the game is more important to me than trophies. I, if I get trophies, I get them. All right. Me, I do like I do like trophy collecting, but um, that's only if I put my mind to it. Most of the time, it's just me playing the video game. Especially in your first playthrough. Sometimes you do just want to, you know, beat the game. Find the invisible haunted with memory scanner. Uh, hello? Aha, there you are. Cheeky little bugger, get over here. Right, oh, yep. Uh, uh, is that the only one? It is. Aha, that's opened the door. That's pretty nice. And we grabbed a trap. Ooh. That's a trap. Oh, what's this? Coins! Ten coins. Sweet. Can't complain about that. Alright, so let's get moving. And smash. Oh! It's a boss fight. Transcript subject two B uh, CB two ten, conjunction psychiatric patient, watching from beyond. Right, right in their note, little notes transceive, little uh, transmission received. Look behind the brainstorm. See the past perfect tense. You thought it and her. I heard it. We grabbed the thoughts, new bones and muscles. New yeah, new bones and muscles. All the different ones. All the same thoughts pulsing like the brain radar bouncing back. They're of me. They're in me, but he's not. The serpent retains form, it stays inside, binds my dreams. No one escapes, only craving an eternal void. As it becomes one of the form functions, we join. We are we are the new being, hideous and beautiful. I think he's taken my soul. I I probably wasn't myself. Yikes. <laughs> wow, this this game has its own ways of being so up. You know what I mean? Wow. Uh, hello? Oh, we're here. Oh, I know what we're going to fight. Use the car as melee weapons. We just picked up 10 coins. Sweet. Uh, aha. Yeah, it is this monster. Unfortunately, with Sebastian, we did, we couldn't we couldn't fight them. Um, well, we could, but we had to do other clever stra. Oh hi! You had to do other clever strategies, you know, to beat this thing. But because we are the executioner, we have the ultimate power, which is our hammer. As for you, you can die. Uh oh, that caused a blow up. Oh, we didn't get infected. Hey, I'm alive. Hi. Okay. Can you hit this car to me, please? 
Pretty please? Hey, thank you. Ha! Take that. At least it works. Right. Are you going to hit that car to me as well? No, I said hit the car to me. Oh, there we go. Right. Can you like... No, I don't want to be distracted. Just die. Yeah, because you're going to explode. How about... No, I think I've already got exploding things attacking me. It's called cars. Go on. Hit that car. Thank you. Uh, take it back. Uh, excuse me. Oh, it worked. Blow up an enemy with a long car. I mean, I think I've been doing that throughout the entire thing. You didn't need to give me the advice. I already was blowing him up with the car. Okay, well, I wasn't blowing him up with the car. I mean, I was batting it back to him. Because he's just being mean, saying, take cars. Well, he's got one more hit and then he's dead. Should I hammer him or should I get the car? You know what? I'm going to just use the car. I. Ow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, wow. Look at that. That car's glitching through the wall. <laughs> look at it. It's glitching through the wall. That's that's kind of hilarious, actually. Heard sure. It's kind of hilarious. Maybe I should beat you with the hammer. Or maybe I could just beat these other people first. Right, is that health? Yes, it is. Thank you. <laughs> Not that I needed to grab. Ouch. Damn, sir, your breath stinks. How about I hammer you in the face? You dead. Be a good girl and stay dead this time. Oh, wow. That looked like... Oh, my word. That was 80 coins. I'm not going to say no to 80 coins. You can now purchase the highest weapon damage rank. Even better. Okay, so we can go through there. Right, so now we're going shopping. Sorry, I was being a bit quiet. Alright, shall we... We purchase one hammer upgrade. Good stuff. Next is 100. Um... Uh... Mm, mm, uh... Mm, 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 sorry, I'm thinking. Um, yeah, we'll upgrade the chainsaw. Why not? Uh, rocket launcher. I suppose we need to upgrade the speed. We will upgrade the speed eventually. But yeah, we'll do that. We'll, um, like I said, I'll do a transition where I grind off screen. Not that it's um, important. I mean, I can try and beat the game without upgrading. But I think upgrading will be my big recommendation. Because I don't know what challenges, what, what challenges the game will bring me. I mean, it's brought me a lot of challenges in it. Oh. Mobius Directive 7, the next phase. The abnormalous readings of the P Ruvik entity have ceased. Despite this, your daughter's progress towards STEM domination has not stopped. Ruling out Ruvik as a possible cause, it is reasonable to believe that the only other test subject within STEM is the cause. The last remaining last subject is you. Have you been in direct contact with your daughter? Supplementary information. Transmitting files on your daughter. But your location within the manor house basement cannot be determined. Wait, what? We are the last test? It literally says we, as in us. So why are we, why are we getting answers if we are the legit test subject? Oh, let's look in here. Something important? Oh. Wait a second. We just beat you. Okay. What about you? Uh, scan. Joseph. Okay. This is this is uh, people we've beaten. <laughs> ah, if you get here, nope. Just a body.
Hi. What's she doing? Oh, look, there's a note. We're going to read that shortly. But let's look at the rooms. Hello? Oh, there's another person in here. Okay. Let's check 210. There's someone in here. Oh, we beat you. Okay. And then there's one more room. 209. Daughter's Diary 13. Where did the doctor go? Everyone's gone. Alright, there's two. There's one more to read. And this. Hey! Look at that picture! That's us! We legit are the last test. We actually are the last test. Dude. Huh. I should have known. Oh, what's this? Another note? Daughter's Diary 14. Something is getting closer. I can feel it. I guess this is it. Sorry, Dad. I know you tried. And we just got a trophy for reading all the notes, like I said. Ah, there's something there. And there's this. Alright, we'll do one we'll do one thing on screen and then I'll um transition and grind off screen because I know what we will need. I'm gonna probably grind so I can upgrade all my weapons. Aye. I mean, warranted is going to is we're going to be facing ourselves from the looks of things. We are the final boss, so I take it if we are the f if we are the last test subject, I take it we're going to be facing ourselves, like a, a dark clone or something, something among those lines. I'm pretty sure of that. Anyway, um, you know when stuff like that happens, it tends to be a clone of yourself. I mean, it's not the first time I've seen and heard. Uh oh. Oh! You stupid thing. Wait, where did you come from? I thought I killed everybody. You know what? It's okay. I'm gonna destroy all the red ones because um, they can turn into something and explode. That's sure. Alright, you can die. Stop. <laughs> ah, oh god, look at all that ketchup on the floor. Even though it's blood. Fatality. Do do do. <laughs> ah, who's next? Oh, thank you. And uh, <laughs> right. Well, I admit I am enjoying this DLC, but I still would hands down say this is my least favorite DLC. But I can understand what the um. The developers were thinking, they're saying, you've gone through a lot already as Kidman and Sebastian, so why don't you be the executioner and destroy everything that is in your way? Well, that's how I feel what the, the, the um, game developers were thinking, anyway. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, there is a story to this game. This DLC, should I say. But, I think that um, this game is like, say, thank you for playing our game and buying our DLC. Now it's time for the final DLC to actually take your frustrations out on all these enemies that caused your life um, to be horrible when you were playing this game. Yeah, you can die because I don't want you to explode on me. Goodbye. Hi. Ugh, uh, ugh, get off. No, back off. Oh, 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 there we go. Hey. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, I definitely need to upgrade my hammer. <laughs> Ooh, that was literally quite awesome. <laughs> Smashing someone's head through the uh, thing. Wait, did you explode? Nope. There you go. You exploded now. Now does it feel being my? Oh hi. Uh, uh. Uh oh. Ah. Get off me. Rubbish, trash. Ugh, oh god. Trying so hard not to swear. Oh my god, again? Get off me, you big piece of. There we go. Ugh, ugh. Are you going down anytime soon? I've hammered your head so many damn times. It's ridiculous how many times I hit you with the hammer in your head and you're still standing. Oh my word, this is going to be a bit frantic. This is going to be very frantic if I don't eliminate you. Where is he? There he is. I need to eliminate this one here. Before he starts exp Oh, there we go. And there you go. You have no head anymore. 
Oh, hi. How you doing? I'm the executioner. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, as Arnold would say. No, I don't think so, you. Uh, uh. There we go. You're dead. Uh, anybody else? Is that the last one? Seems it. Yes, it is. Yeah, I think I'm going to grind off screen. Let's take you to the cleaners. Smash your head in. Uh, and there we go. How many coins did we get from that? Is that 50? It is. Okay. 50 coins. Not too bad. You know what? I'm a grinder. Crap ton. So what I'm going to do is go here for now. And we are going to transition after buying our last products. Hi. Are we going to upgrade the hammer? Or the capacity? Uh, I guess we will. Um, fuel efficiency. Or rank. Yeah, we'll upgrade the damage of the chainsaw, I guess. And we're going to transition, because why not? Alright, so we're going to do more... There we go, and we're back. Yes, like I said, we are going to do more grinding of screens. See, I got 313 coins. Told you I was going to do a lot of grinding. Right, so now we can upgrade all the things we want. Like this chainsaw. Like this Molotov, if we wanted to. This rocket launcher. Do we buy it? No, we don't buy it. Because we need to upgrade mobility. Twice. Yes. And then... Oh yeah, we, I upgraded the hammer off screen. I do apologize for that. But hey, at least we upgraded the hammer. And now we upgrade the fuel. Should we upgrade the fuel? Yes, I think we should. Yes, we will. And I think we should be fine. Um, yeah, I believe we should be fine for the final showdown. There we go. And now that we finished grinding, I knew I was going to do the gauntlet eventually, but I'm glad I did. Right, let's go. Kick this door. Oh, let's save, actually, before we go anywhere. Might as well save. You never know what's going to happen. And this is one chapter anyway, so, um, yeah. Might as well save. Just in case the game crashes, because the game does tend to crash. Like I've told you in the DLC when I was doing the, um, the assignment. And the consequence, actually. Alright. Hello? Anything here for me to read? Nope. Alright, let's go. Let's trans let's change bodies. Oh snap on neck. Oh that feels so glorious. Or well, not really. Kinda that looks kinda painful actually. Right. Uh oh, I was about to say, do we have to go through another one? But no, the gate the um, the gate opened for us. Do you really want to know where your daughter is? She's beyond that gate. Right. Oh. Hi. Wait, where the hell are we going? What is happening to us? Oh. I think I know what's going on. I might be right, actually. That's our daughter. And who? Hey, it's us! Yes, it is. That actually is us. Now we have to go in there. <laughs> I knew it. I called it. I said we have to face ourselves. That note was already telling, saying that we have to fight ourselves. Ah, looks like we got to read one more thing. One more thing, Jackie. Never question uncle. Oh, that TV show was pretty awesome. But yeah, we got to read one more thing before, you know. Mobius Directive 08. Self-destruction. Based upon evidence, this will be the final test. Single subject has been stealing the influence of each subject as they die. It's unclear if this is some aspect of their physical form within STEM or paternal relationship with the girl. That subject is the one that you must defeat, is you. If you are to return even part of your daughter's memories and freedom from STEM, you must sever your own connection. 
Ooh, that's horrible. So, if we beat ourselves, we have to basically lose a memory of ourselves, too. That's terrible. All right, eliminate the Dark Keeper, which is us. Well, evil us, more like it. That's crazy, man. I knew something like this was going to happen in this DLC. This game is mean. This game has been nothing but me. Oh. Ow. Okay. Seems the game's telling us that we need to crush our own heads. Well, hi. How you doing, buddy? It's me against me. Crush the Dark Keeper. Well, looks like that did nothing. Ow, he's got a sword. I want a sword. I'm a samurai. Where's my sword? I don't want to use a bloody hammer. Okay, so this is only part one. Like, look how easy he's, he's losing his health. It cannot be that easy. Come on, game. Nope, it cannot be this easy. Crushing my own head. Wait, is that it? Yeah, crushing my own head. I don't think that will be it. There must be more. Ow. That's going to affect us. Yep. We're hurting ourselves. Because we are facing ourselves. This game is pretty mean, man. I'm telling you, this game is so mean. This game makes you go on such a wild goose chase. Right. Hello. Where are you? Well, where is me? That's like I say, where is me? Hello, me! Another me is what there'll never be. Ouch. Another life like this you'll never see. Now, if you know, if you know who sings that song, it's a wrestler, obviously, but if you know who sings that song, more power to you, because it's a very good song, actually. It is a very good song. I mean, this specific wrestler does have some great lyrics in their songs, even if they're not the best singer in the world, but it doesn't matter. Right, is he crushed? Well, am I crushed? Yes, I am, actually. Ugh. I think I've got to crush myself one more time, clearly. <laughs> Gosh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. You know what those hands do? They kill you immediately, and I don't want to die immediately, so we're going to have to dodge and run away. And I don't know how we dodged if we ran into a plain wall. That is pretty funny, actually. Okay, well, it's not. Hi? Bye? I saw that hand. Uh, hello? Go this way? Hey, where am I? Where, 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 where is he? Oh, where's me? Hello? I can't find myself. Hello? Uh, game, I don't want to die here. Whoa, I don't want to die here, game. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Run this way, this way, this way, this way. Oh, God, oh, God. I, I was dreading that some... Oh, hello. Uh. Yeah. You thought you could get away? I'm going to chainsaw you. Doesn't sound like it. Doesn't sound like uh, the way I wanted to say it. But chainsaw away. Right. Ouch. I mean, I still love on my sword, but hey, chainsaws will do. And I just missed that one. Oh god, I'm getting sliced up like an idiot. There we go. Now let's pick up this head. Even though it's my own head. I'm picking up my own head and I'm going to destroy my own head. It's okay. Apparently we have to do it to save our daughter and pretty much destroy a fragment of our memory. Ugh. Oh, dead. Yep, we're dead. Good night. So that's the big payoff. So that's the big payoff. <laughs> this, this, the game developers were like, oh, you enjoyed yourself, did you? Well, you're going to have to kill yourself while you're at it. Cool.
word. That was the daughter holding the dad's hand. Final search report. Final research report. Successful release from STEM. Permission directives. The father subject has stained all test subjects except the, for the girl, thereby restoring her memory. The girl became only living being inside STEM, and this allowed her to regain consciousness and leave STEM. In, the, in this Ruvik case, the prevailing theory is that he left STEM by entering the body of subject. Withers. The results of this experiment are a great step forward in understanding this dynamics of STEM. Moving forward, we recommend that the girl be placed under our control so that the integrity of her memory can be determined. The father's death within STEM was confirmed, though corresponding brain death of the subject was not occurred, has not occurred. Christ almighty, man. So basically, we sacrificed ourselves for our daughter. This concludes trial 82347BX. A full report will be forthcoming. Yep, we sacrificed ourselves just for our daughter. I guess that's what all parents would do, eh? All parents would do something to sacrifice something to, you know, save their children. That's just, that's just being a parent, you know? Me, I don't know how that feels, so... Yeah, that's it, guys. That's Let's play the... E well... That's, let's play the evil within, that's done, and let's play the evil within the executioner. This has concluded this whole entire let's play. I've played this game, well, I've been uploading this game for four months. I started in September hoping that, well, I did get a good go-ahead, knowing that I was going to be playing it in Halloween. I really should have made it an everyday thing, but I did not. I decided to make it three days a week, sometimes four, and, you know, I don't regret it. So, what do I think of this DLC? It was fun. It was fun, even though it was my least favorite. I'm going to just pull it out there now. It was my least favorite of the three DLCs I did. The Kidman story was great. I wish it was longer. I wish it was at least six chapters, but instead it was four, two in each. But I'm still thankful for the DLCs nonetheless. I had fun being Kidman even though I died after two hits. But still, it was fun. This one was fun, but it came at a price. The developers basically just said, Ha 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 ha, you can enjoy murdering our... F you can enjoy murdering our monsters that gave you hell. However, you are going to pay the price at the end. And we did. Of course we did. The game is so bloody mean that it made us pay the damn price by killing us at the end. Just to save our own daughter. Was it worth it? I suppose in story it was because we rescued our daughter. But we died. I'm going to give this DLC um, a 6 or 7 out of 10. I mean, I gave Kidman's one a 9. A 9 and an 8. A solid 8 to 9. This one gets a 6. Because, um... I mean... Why did I give it a 6? Um, I did enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. But it was my least favourite. So I can't really give it a high mark if I didn't enjoy it as much either. I think it was just too easy. I think that's why I'm gonna... Uh, I think that's why I'm going to give it a downgrade. Because it was too easy. Once you upgrade your weapons... That's it. And it's very easy to upgrade your weapons. I did um, skip the um, some bits of the um, thing. The credits, because I had to. And look at that. Zero deaths. See? I told you. This, this, D this DLC was so easy. Wait, did I get a C grade? <laughs> yeah, C. What's the highest grade you could get here? I think, I think the highest grade I could get is actually a, probably an A or something. But yeah, we have defeated this game in an hour and 49 minutes. That's quite... Well, if we did grind, which was at least 40 minutes, so I think we would have beaten this game in an hour. But yeah, we've beaten this game, and we've unlocked a new game plus. I know there's a thing where you have to face Sebastian. We probably will do that eventually, if you want me to, that is. We got the sword, and look, Sebastian's battle room. If you want me to do that, I will go back and do it. But for now, I'm saying goodbye to the evil within, and goodbye to this Let's Play, and thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.